starting it off like this because I look like trash because I just got back from the gym and I don't know I just I don't like to do like a formal intro even in my last one I didn't do a formal intro for the whole video so basically um I already have one of these up but this was from last year and my collection has grown a lot and I've ch made some changes and stuff so I thought I would do an updated one and uh what else I'll have all the info and links for um, most of my furniture down below. So if you guys want to go look at them or whatever, they'll be in the description bar. I'm not going to go through a lot of the stuff just because I've already kind of covered it in my last video. So I'll leave that video down below as well if you guys want to go watch that one. And that's about it. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you guys are notified whenever I post a new video. And also, um, I'm just going to say, like, I'm not bragging in any way. Most of the stuff I purchased with my own money or they've been gifts. But, um, yeah, I'm not bragging in any way. This has just been a highly requested video because my collection has grown a lot. So, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Okay, so this is an overview of my vanity and everything. So, I have this covered in my last video, which will be down below again. So these two things are little frames from the dollar store and they just have PR notes that I thought would be cute if I framed them. And this is an overview of my vanity. So the mirror is from Amazon and it's cracked, so don't mind that. Um, I got the mirror last year. I don't know, um, I don't have a link anymore just because I purchased it a while ago, but it is from Amazon. And the Linmon tabletop, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Again, it'll all be linked down below. It is from Ikea, and at the bottom are two Alex 5 drawers. The tabletop is 120 by 60, if I'm not mistaken. Again, it'll be linked down below just in case. It's like a medium size. I do have a bigger one that goes like up to here, but I haven't put it yet. So yeah, that's basically it. And then the chair is also from Ikea, and, and this little pillow is from Winners, which is like a Marshalls for Canada. I'll start up here. This is a Muji drawer from Muji. It's like a store. I'll leave them linked down below. They have two separate and I just have them stacked on top of each other. They're really nice because it's clear. Just above I have um, eyelash curler, a lip gloss, and a lip balm that I wear every single day. So I'll start from the top. The top are just my everyday eyebrow stuff and a highlighter. So I have my ABH dip brow, ABH powder, some brow gels up in here, and just that stuff. Then I have a bunch of mascaras, eyeliners, and all that stuff that I use every single day and a pair of eyelash tweezers. So I just use these on the daily basically. I switch around day to day. So I just have all of these in there. Then I have my lashes that I've been loving lately. So I have my Dodo lashes in D301s that are my all time favorite. And then my Dodo lashes in D316, but that's a D301 case so I don't know how that happened but yeah that's that and Dota Lashes are my favorite y'all know the discount code for me is glamby.sof I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase them on dotalashes.com they're five to twelve dollars um you guys know I rave about them all the time and then I just have a pair of tweezers and two lash glue the house of lashes lash glue is my all-time favorite and then at the bottom I have my everyday bronzers I have my favorite blush my color pop bronzer and my ABH XM Razy highlighter that's literally my all-time favorite at the moment it's amazing then here I just have my everyday brushes that I use like every single day. They're my all-time favorite brushes So I just have them all together and this little case thing is from forever 21 I really like it because it's just like really easy It has a smaller one for my smaller brushes and a bigger one for my bigger brushes and it's together So then moving on here. I just have this random little brush I just put it there because I have nowhere else to put it then I just have my favorite facial sprays. I just have them all lined up here. So I have my Pop Beauty Makeup Magnet Mist, Glam Glow Glow Setter, Tarte Reinforce of the Sea Spray, Mario Budescu Cucumber Spray. And then I just have my mirror. So my mirror is from Costco, I'm pretty sure. It's by the brand Conair and it has like little dials for different light settings. So I really highly recommend it. And then this little thing is from Walmart. It's really dirty, but it's actually to put like hot plates and stuff on the table, but it was marble, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy it. So then I have just more sprays. This is These are like my everyday sprays that I like literally use every single day in my makeup routine. So this is my Pop Beauty 24K face base. This is amazing as a primer. Then I have my Urban Decay D Slick spray and my Mario Badescu Rose Water spray. Then I'll just move these right now just so I can show you guys my other stuff. 
So then I just have this big case where I put like all of my eye brushes and just other brushes. So all these brushes I really don't use that much. And then I just have my eye brushes right here. And then this case right here is from Winners, which again is like um, another brand of Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And then here I just have Boo Bell brushes from their marble collection, which I have raved about in my past couple videos. I just got them like last week and I've been loving them so far and the case is so cute. And it's really nice because I can put more brushes in these. And then I have this little case from Impressions Vanity and I actually got this at Winners, which again is like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. They actually have started to sell like Impressions Vanity there, which is really great. I actually saw two weeks ago an actual um, mirror from Impressions Vanity, like their Hollywood mirrors like this. So I'm actually probably going to buy one from there just because, you know, shipping and stuff is hella expensive. So yeah, it's really nice. It has a little diamond right here and I just carry most of my beauty blenders in here that I use on the day-to-day -day basis. I just switch around. They're so dirty right now. I have to wash them, but yeah, it's super nice. And then I just have this little plate that has a lipstick on it and just has some other stuff for eyelashes and eyebrows and I bought this at Michael's. Okay, so now moving on to the drawers. I'm gonna try my best to not be shaky and stuff because in the other video when I filmed this last year was really, really shaky, so I apologize, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm actually holding my camera. I'm not using a tripod just because it's easier that way. In my first drawer, I have my everyday face products. So I'm gonna switch around like this. These are just like my day-to-day -day stuff that I go around with. So here, these organizers are from Ikea. They're actually meant for kitchen supplies and utensils, but they work perfectly for makeup. So these are like my foundations that I use on an everyday basis at the moment that I've been loving. So I have my NARS, um, I don't know what this is. What is this called? NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have my Maybelline 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation and my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. And then I just have a bunch of concealers here, the Tarte Shape Tape, Maybelline Fit Me, ColourPop Concealer. Then I have some powders, the Laura Mercier, MAC Studio Fix, and two Maybelline Fit Me's in the 05 and ones in 10. These are amazing. And then I just have my Pop Beauty Setting 101 palette. Then I have all my primers that I use on an everyday basis right here. These are the moisturizing ones. And then I like have um, my everyday one for my T-zone. And then I have some face oils. So I'll just go through them really quickly. The Vino Positively Radiant Daily SPF Moisturizer. Then I have the um, Pixie Rose Flash Balm. I have the Glossier Moisturizer, Laura Mercier Moisturizer. Then my favorite moisturizer for my T-zone, which is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. Then I have the um, Smashbox Primerizer Sample, because I'm trying this out. Then I have the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend. And then my favorite foundation mixer. I put this oil in my actual foundation when I'm mixing it, and it works amazing. This is the Farsali Unicorn Essence. I highly recommend this. Then in the back, I just have some contour um, concealers and some color correcting concealers. And then I just have some other primers and face powders back here that I don't really use, but I may want to use them sometimes, so I just leave them in the back. So moving on to the second drawer, this is another face drawer, but these are products that I never really use, so I just have them all here. So I have some bronzer, this is a Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and then I have a Marc Jacobs face palette. This just has a contour and highlight. Then I have some face powders. This is the Derma Blend Translucent Powder. This is a Laura Mercier Loose Highlighter. Then I have a Makeup Forever Translucent Powder and then just another highlighter from Laura Mercier. These are all my other foundations that I really rarely use. I do use this one, but I just didn't want to put it up in the first drawer because like, I'm not using it at the moment. So yeah, I just have a bunch of foundations back here that I never use. And then I have more face primers that I never really use. And then just some other face primers back here that are meant for, like, mattifying. So I just have these separated. So then in the third drawer, these are all, like, blushes, contour, and highlight that I don't use but I can reach for sometimes. So I actually organize these based on brand. So all here, I have the ABH Glow Kit. So I have the Moonchild Glow Kit, the Sun Dip Glow Kit, Gleam Glow Kit, Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, and the um, Ultimate Glow Kit. So I thought that would be really cute if I organized them with brand because it's kind of like you're shopping at like a Sephora type of vibe. So I thought that would be really nice. Then here I have the bomb. So I have their bronzers here. I have their new ones, which are amazing. I don't think they're going to come out because they're like stuffed in there. 
Then I just have the Bahama Mama bronzer. I have their Mary Luminizer, their Cindy Luminizer, two of their blushes. And then over here I have four of the Pop Beauty highlighters. These are absolutely amazing. Let me see if I can put one out to show you guys. Oh, this is the broken one. But, um, okay, I'm not going to bother pulling them out, but they're really amazing. And I broke this one by accident, so... Then I just have some e.l.f. blush palettes, I have some other e.l.f. highlighters, and then I just have a Wet n Wild highlighter. Oh, I, re I remember, I organized this one by drugstore, so yeah. Then here I have just some blushes that I don't really use, and I have some other stuff. These are all Artist Couture highlighters, I have a Jeffree Star highlighter, an e.l.f. highlighter. So over here I have the Tardis Pro palette, I have the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D, the NYX blush palette. Then I have um, some bronzers over here. I have a Kevin Aquan palette, Naked palette. And then I have the Carly Bible palette back there, which is really amazing that I have to start using again. And then I just have a Morphe palette back there, but I'm not gonna bother even showing you guys because it's so deep in there. Okay, moving on to the bottom drawer. These are all Dodo lashes. So, like I mentioned, Dodo lashes are my favorite lashes ever. So I just have a whole drawer dedicated to them. I'm just going to zoom you guys in. These are all new lashes that I haven't worn yet. So I kind of just separated them like that. Just so when I go to reach for them, I know which ones are brand new. And then all back here, I just have older lashes that I don't really wear. But I don't want to throw them away. And then that's basically it for that drawer. I'll just show you guys a couple pairs. So over here, I have D318s. They're super pretty. These are one of my favorite pairs. Then I have some D309s that I've actually worn a couple times. These are my favorite lashes to wear for like tutorials with dramatic looks because they're so long. Then, um, what are these ones? These are the D307s. I've never worn them, but I have like touched them. So that's why they look kind of out of their case. And, and then I just have my D301s that I wear like on the daily. Like these are one of my favorite pair of lashes ever for this drawer. And then in my last drawer, I mentioned this in my last storage and makeup video. This is all packaging. I know I'm crazy. I am just so like, I don't know. I have a problem and I get attached to packaging because of how pretty it is. So I just keep it and I throw it in this drawer because I'm crazy. I don't know. That's just so many people even commented in my last video saying like, yeah, I do the same thing. So it's good to know that there are people like me out there. And I apologize if you can see my feet in this video, but and that's it for this whole side of my makeup. Okay, and I'm moving on to this side. So on the left side here, I just have like stuff that I use. So I have my Q-tips here for when I do my makeup. I have some eyebrow razors, oil blotting pads, Vaseline, and just some makeup brush cleaning here. And then just a bunch of face sponges over here. I have the Beauty Blender, the Sigma sponge that are really dirty, but I don't really use them. So then here I have a bunch of eye stuff. So all here are glitters. I have some glitters from LA Splash. I have some NYX glitters, some Eye Candy Cosmetics glitters. And then I just have Skedit Beauty glitters. They're like a smaller makeup brand and they're really good glitters. So I'd highly recommend them. And then here I have some LA Splash um, liquid glitter, liquid liner glitters. I think that's what they're called, liner glitters, whatever. Then I have LA Splash um, eyeliners over here and then just some other eyeliners back up in here then i have nyx um vivid liners and some eyeshadow primers and then i have just some single shadows that i have nowhere to put so i just all put them here i have makeup forever i have some mac i have wet and wild and yeah that's basically it some urban decay that's all for that drawer and then in the third drawer, I have like my favorite makeup palettes that I'm using right now. This is just easier to like do because when I film, I like have been sitting in my vanity recently. So it's easier to just reach and grab for these because I know I like them. So I have the ColourPop Dream Street palette, ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette. I'll just show you guys how they look. Look like that. They're super pretty. Then I have the Violet Voss hashtag palette. Oh my god, that was a mouthful to say. Then I have the Lime Crime Venus palette, two ABH palettes, a modern renaissance and subculture. Then I have three um, palettes. These are just smaller, so I put them in this little thing. This is a NYX Cosmic Metals, the NYX Little Lingerie. And then this Pixie palette with a collaboration with a YouTuber that I just got recently. And then I just have some eyebrow stuff back there that I have nowhere else to put. Okay, and then moving on to this drawer, this is all lip products. So I just have 
a bunch of liquid lipsticks over here. So I have some Pixie ones, ABH, ColourPop, Mellow Cosmetics, Lime Crime, The Bomb Cosmetics, um, and then some more over here. Then over here I have some lip glosses. Then I have some smaller stuff that I don't know where to put. They're just like like smaller samples or like random type of brands. Then I have more Pixie. These are like Pixie. Um, what are these? These are Shea Butter Lip Balms, and then I just have some Glossier Balms over here. I have all NYX lip products here because they're easier to just like organize. Then I have all lip liners over here, and then in the back I have my ABH lip palette and some random um, MAC lipsticks and stuff back there. And then in my last drawer is just like miscellaneous stuff. I just have like rubbing alcohol to clean my vanity when I want to, and that's about it for that drawer. Okay, so now moving on to this side, I have another Alex drawer. This is the Alex 9 drawer. It has nine drawers. I apologize if it's really dark. It's just I don't have any of my um, studio lights on because I didn't feel like it. So maybe a little dark. So at the top, I just have a bunch of the Bomb Cosmetics Meat Matte Hues liquid lipsticks. I thought it looked really cute. Then I have a candle back here. This is just Peppermint Marshmallow by White Barn. It smells amazing. I got it like two years ago at Christmas, but yeah, it smells really good. And then I just have a little pixie thing from a PR, and I thought it was really nice because it matched like the pink theme going on. And I got this from the dollar store, I'm pretty sure, a couple years back, but yeah, that's about it. And I forgot to mention, this is from Ikea as well. So in the first drawer is all skincare. These are just like skincare products that I don't really use or I'm gonna use, but I haven't gotten the chance to. So I have a bunch of face masks here from my face Tory. They're just like a skincare um, subscription box brand. Then I have the Pixie Rose Caviar Essence. I have a bunch of Cetaphil stuff, I have a Pixie toner, and I have some brush cleaning stuff back here, a face mask, and um, just some moisturizers back there. So yeah, that's that drawer. Then over here I have lashes. So I showed this to my friend the other day, and I'm like, if I ever say I need lashes again, remind me that I do not need lashes. So all here I have certified lashes. just have some random other lashes over here. I have all Coco lashes over here. I have um, some other brands of lashes over here and just some Skedded Beauty lashes, which again, I mentioned before, their glitters and lashes are really pretty. So I just have these all here. And then I have some other lashes back there. I don't know if you guys can see. So yeah, that's this drawer. Then over here, um, so I've organized a couple of these drawers by like palette styles. So these are like neutral palettes that I don't really go for on the daily or don't really go for when I'm doing a tutorial. But um, yeah, so I just have some Too Faced palettes right here, certified palette, which is absolutely beautiful. I have the Cavendish Shade and Light palette, I have a Tarte palette back there, Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette, and the Balm Meat Matrimony. And then I have the colorful palettes that I use um, when I go for a colorful look all in here. Um, I've never tried this one, but I want to. It's just they're all shimmer shades, so I don't really go for that. Um, so this is the Pastel Goth palette by Kat Von D, the Certified um, Tropical Wonders palette, which I will show you guys. It is literally amazing. So yeah, that was really nice. The Smashbox, I think this is the Bold Eyes palette. I love this palette. The Huda Beauty palette. And then I have some Morphe palettes back there, the 35B. Then over here, I have palettes that I never really ever use, so I just kind of throw them in here. So I have a Morphe 35K palette, NYX palette, two Sigma palettes over here, Master palette by Mario, I have some other palettes back there. And then over here, I have all self-tanning stuff, all from the Loving Tan, and they have really good tanners, so I would highly recommend. Then here I just have um, a bunch of products from shopmissa.com. They're all a dollar, so I have to film a video to test this out for you guys. So I will have the video coming soon. But yeah, I just threw them all in here just because I have nowhere else to put them. Then here I have, um, this is stuff that are like um, refills of like my products. So I have some setting sprays, um, I have some eyeliners, I have my foundation powders that I use. And then all back here I have stuff for giveaways that I am planning. So in every single one of my videos coming up, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end. So I have these stuff all set up. So I have 
a couple of pixie palettes. I have some face masks and I have some other stuff in here. So again, if you guys want to win any of this stuff, make sure to subscribe because in my next few videos, I'm going to be doing a bunch of giveaways at the end of them. So make sure you subscribe for that. And then in the very last drawer, I just have nothing. This is just stuff that I don't know where else to put. So yeah, that's about it for my makeup storage and vanity tour. And that's my updated makeup and storage for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on my post notifications if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more from me. And that's all for today's video. I will see you guys in my next one. I love you guys so much. Bye.